Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the two state diagrams and we have been asked to find the flip-flops corresponding to these two diagrams. So first, let us see the first state diagram. So here, let's say the present state of the flip-flop is equal to Qn. And from the state diagram, as you can see, the flip-flop has one input. That means it can be the D flip-flop or the T flip-flop. So here, for the one input and the present state, we have total four different possibilities. So as you can see in the state diagram, when the output of the flip-flop is zero, and at the same time, when the input is also zero, then it will remain in the same state. That means in that case, in the next state, the output of the flip-flop will be equal to zero. Likewise, in the same state, when the input is equal to one, then it will do a transition from S0 to S1 state. And in that case, the output of the flip-flop will become 1, that is this condition. On the other end, when the flip-flop is in S1 state, or in other words, when the output of the flip-flop is equal to 1, and when we apply 0 as an input, then it will do a transition from S1 to S0 state. And in that case, its output will become 0, that is this condition. And likewise, in the same state, when the input is equal to 1, then it will remain in the same state. That means in that case, its output will be equal to 1. That is this condition. So as you can see from the state table, when the input of the flip-flop is equal to 0, then in the next state, its output will remain 0. And likewise, when the input of the flip-flop is equal to 1, then irrespective of the present state, its output will remain 1. So we can say that the given flip-flop is equal to D flip-flop. Because as you know in the D flip-flop, when the input is equal to 0, then the output of the flip-flop is also equal to 0. And likewise, when the input is 1, then its output is also equal to 1. That means the first state diagram is of D flip-flop. So likewise, let us see the second state diagram. So in this second state diagram, as you can see, we have total two inputs. So let's say the two inputs are A and B. And let's say the present state of the flip-flop is equal to Qn. That means here, for these three input combinations, we have total eight different possibilities. So here, the first input corresponds to A input, but the second input corresponds to B input. And here, the meaning of the X is that this input can be either zero or one. So as you can see in the state diagram, when the flip-flop is in S0 state, and at that time, when the input is equal to either zero one or zero zero, then the flip-flop will remain in the same state. That means in that case, its output will remain zero. That is these two conditions. Likewise, in the same state, when the input is equal to one X, or in other words, when the input is equal to one one or one zero, then it will do a transition from S zero to S one state. And in that case, its output will become one. That is these two conditions. Likewise, if the flip-flop is in S one state, that means currently, if the present output of the flip-flop is 1, and in that case, if the input is equal to x0, that is 0, 0, or 1, 0, then the flip-flop will remain in the same state. That is, these two conditions. And likewise, in that state, when the input is equal to x1, then it will do a transition from 1 to 0. That means whenever the input is equal to either 0, 1, or 1, 1, then it will do a transition from s1 to s0 state. And in that case, its output will become zero. So this is the state table of the given flip-flop. Now whenever we have a two inputs, then the flip-flop can be the SR flip-flop or the JK flip-flop. And as you know, in the SR flip-flop, we do not have a one-one condition. That means in the SR flip-flop, both the inputs cannot be one at the same time. But in this case, as you can see, when both the inputs are one, then the output of the flip-flop gets toggled. That means if the present state of the flip-flop is zero, then in the next state it will become 1. And similarly, if the present state is 1, then in the next state it will become 0. So we can say that the given flip-flop is the JK flip-flop. Moreover, if you see, then when both inputs are 0, then the flip-flop will remain in the same state. And similarly, when this one input is 0 and the second input is 1, then irrespective of the present state of the flip-flop, the output of the flip-flop will become 0. And similarly, when the first input is 1, and the second input is 0, then the output of the flip-flop will become 1. So we can say that 
the given flip flop is the jk flip flop that means the given state diagram satisfies the condition of the jk flip flop that means in the given question the first state diagram is of d flip flop while the second state diagram is of jk flip flop and therefore for the given question this d is the correct answer